I've always been interested in cultural diversity and I got interested in education when I started to travel internationally. My interest in this is really sparked by my objective to try to understand what functions schools are serving and how to make them more relevant to local populations, how to make them more useful, and how to provide greater access, both locally and globally. The Culture of Schooling Project aims to study the changes that take place when individuals, communities, even societies become exposed to formal education. We're working in populations that have had many generations of formal education. Communities in the US, for example, in Japan, in China, in Western Europe, as well as populations where formal education has been introduced more recently. In some cases, these are even small-scale societies. And we're interested in how belief systems, meaning-making systems, are transmitted through formal education. Everyone knows that formal education gives students knowledge and skills. But how does it impact the beliefs and values of the students, community, and their society? Formal schools transmit information about what it means to be a member of a particular nation or state or region. They transmit the values of the population. They also transmit critical skills that are required to be productive and successful within that population. Most educational research, historically, has focused on academic content knowledge or academic skills, things like literacy, numeracy, the scientific reasoning, knowledge of history. Far less studied is how formal educational systems are transmitting other critical processes like values, identities, creating new identities. It's a big part of what schools are introduced to do. In this research project, Cognitive scientists and psychologists are studying schools throughout the world, exploring questions like, how does science education impact a community's values, especially its religious values? And how do a community's religious values impact the way students think about science and the knowledge that science generates? All human populations have complex beliefs about the origin of life, about how the natural world works. Students are often in um, situations where they have the beliefs they have learned from their parents, from their communities. But in school, they're learning about the scientific method, about scientific biology. They might be learning about religious explanations for the origin of the world. And sometimes these things are presented in ways that are complementary, but they can also be presented in ways that are contradictory and can replace existing belief systems. Studying formal education in the context of science and religion is really a fascinating way to understand cultural change and also cognitive and conceptual change. Schools are one of the influences that shape our beliefs and behaviors. A lot of the research we're doing looks within population variation. For example, a small-scale society versus a large industrialized economy. One of the things that we're doing as part of this project is looking at uh, communities that are ethnically, linguistically, uh, socioeconomically similar in many respects, but due to proximity to different geographical features, in some cases just pure historical accident, some communities within the same region have access to formal schools and others don't. My core interest is in how people become members of the surprisingly complex and diverse populations they live in. The fact that we have these deeply flexible minds means that we can acquire any skill, any language, any belief, any value set of knowledge within the human repertoire. No other species has that level of flexibility. The reason we developed schools as institutions is to transmit information on a large scale. Schools are a critical part of democracy, of equity, access, and creating an increasingly interconnected global citizenry. It is well equipped to challenge or to tackle core challenges that our species faces.